take Tunay na diwa ng kalayaan ay ang pagpapalawak ng isipan. First of all, we must open our minds and do more research about the world in order to find the solution to what is already happening around us. Yes, there is a problem, but there is a solution as well. Let's all fight together because we are the people of now and we will help each other to save the planet Earth. Puerto Princesa Imelda Bautista Schweinhardt. Getting the fourth spot. We say congratulations to Vienna, Austria, Melanie Madden. And having off the list, we say congratulations to to Lawak City Lorebar Artajos. <laughs> Let's hear it for your five finalists. Isang pagsubok na lang kailangan ng harapin and one of them will be proclaimed to Miss Philippines Earth and enjoy the perks that go with a title. But the question is just exactly what these perks are. Let's all watch this and see what awaits our new queen and her elemental court. Congratulations, ladies. Miss Philippines Earth 2016 and her elemental sport will each receive the following. A year's supply of Top of the Line Cosmetics from Everbelena to ensure their ever-beautiful aura during their race. Gift certificates from Alberto Shoes, shoes that fit your lifestyle. Footwear from Merrill Shoes, three strong Merrill for women. Original crystals and precious stones to bring good luck from Charms and Crystals International by Joy Lin. One year membership from Gold's Gym plus personal training sessions for Miss Protein Earth. A year of skin and body care services from Jensen Cosmetic Surgery in Central Asia of Dr. John Seneca. And management contract from Carousel Production. Miss Philippines Earth 2016 will smile with confidence with a year of dental treatments from Oasis Dental Care by Dr. Yeye and Jesse De La Pena with Dr. Randy Ortiz. She will also receive an Optima 4 laptop from Red Fox. And the honor of using the Miss Philippines Earth crown during her reign. Moment of truth, top five. This is it, friends. Ang pinaka exciting at nakaka nervous na portion po ng ating competition. I'll be asking our finalists the same question, and they will each have. Top five, this is it, friends. Are you excited? Are you ready? Well, it's po, the most exciting and nervous portion of our competition. I'll be asking our finalists the same question, and they will each have 30 seconds to answer. If the time is up, we will hear this one. 
And to make sure we're doing this fairly, all the other finalists are wearing headphones and will be enjoying some loud music so they will not hear what's going on. And now, we begin with Kiar Gel Gregorio from London. Are you ready? And the question goes, If you had a chance to talk one-on-one -on -one with President-elect Duterte, what assistance would you ask from him on your climate change advocacy? My campaign is called One with the Earth, which aims to teach skills, influence minds, and build the future. And now, if I had the chance to have a chat with President-elect Duterte, I would ask him to for more funding in order to support my advocacy and really to help me reawaken the spirit of environmentalism within everyone because climate change is an ecological holocaust and there is nothing that can stop us from this environmental degradation. Just in any good time, thank you so much, London. And now we proceed with Rosales Pangasinan. Good evening, Shannon, Rebecca. Are you okay? All right, the question will be, if you had a chance to talk one-on-one -on -one with President-elect Duterte, what assistance would you ask from him on your climate change advocacy? My advocacy is to educate elementary children on the importance of environmental conservation and proper waste management. And therefore, I would ask the newly elected president to help me make, make environmental conservation permanent and therefore children can learn at a young age to look after the environment. Thank you. We've got warriors of the environment. Thank you so much. Rosales Pangasinan. Let's head on to if you had a chance to talk one on one with President elect Duterte. What assistance would you ask from him on your climate change advocacy? My climate change advocacy is banning genetically modified organisms and genetically engineered seeds because I believe in natural food in order to feed our mind, body, and soul. So if we really want to feed our minds and become more smarter, let's support banning GMO, President Duterte. At the same time, I would like to encourage him to um, put bike lanes here in Manila and I would take him to Puerto Princesa and show him how clean our place is. Thank you so much. Miss Philippines Earth 2016 is... Puerto Princesa Inada Bautista Schweighart! And Miss Philippines Air is... London Kiara Giel Gregorio!